Oh yeah, check it out. Check it out. It's done. Hey everybody, welcome back to Dyson Sphere program and as you can see, we have completed our Dyson Sphere. And uh, let's, um, let's see, if we go to our Dyson Sphere monitor here, you can see it is complete. And uh, yeah, it looks like a soccer ball, yep to be expected but if we take a look inside you can see our kit alpha star tucked nice and neatly inside the embrace of our Dyson sphere so yeah how very cool is that but yeah sorry it's been a while since I've got an episode out I've just had a lot to do with uh, with the business haven't had much time to play the game let alone record videos so I've finally been able to do a little bit of work and record a video but look at the spaghetti look at the freaking spaghetti it looks like an oil a giant oil refinery in real life but uh, yeah just spaghetti everywhere and if we go over to what I kind of call our main hub where where all this where the really important science labs are and all that I mean it looks like a regular something out of cyberpunk doesn't it I mean that is freaking awesome I think it's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. I love it. It is truly awesome. Anyway, so yeah, um, uh, so you know, I've been able to complete the game. If we look at our technology tree, we can see that I've completed all this tech, and we've even gotten the mission complete done. We've got white science. We've processed 4,000 of them, and boom, research complete. Congratulations, builder of great civilizations. The primary mission of the Dyson Sphere program has been successfully complete. Complete, okay. Uh, with your efforts, this game will continue after completion, which indeed it does, just like Factorio. But, so what I've decided to do is not just end the game. Oh, by the way, I will. I will be starting a new playthrough, but I want to do it with a lot better... Uh, planning right from the very beginning and I'm probably gonna change a few of the settings of the vanilla game but yes definitely gonna start again but since we've got the Dyson Sphere completed in this game why don't we take the uh, take the rockets that we no longer need for that Dyson Sphere up there why don't we take those and try to build a uh, we're gonna we're gonna try to build a Dyson Sphere around the black hole right i mean people have talked about it i've never actually seen somebody do it i know somewhere somebody probably has but none of the people i watch on a regular basis have done it and i wanted to give it a try so we're going to conduct this operation where we embrace the black hole the largest most powerful force of sucking in the universe with a Dyson Sphere. So we are truly going to conduct Operation Embrace the Suck. All right. So let me kind of brief you on what's going on here. Um, so the simple solution was to just basically take the rockets that I've been building and instead of sending them to the launchers, which I've pulled up, I've, the, the rocket launchers, which you guys haven't even seen yet on my world, have been yanked up and relocated. They're actually in a container on the black hole planet. So I've picked those up along with the rail guns. Do I have any of the rail guns here? Probably not. I don't think so. So I grabbed the whole crap load of belts, of tier three belts and a few other things. And, uh, but anyway, I've rerouted a whole bunch of the products that we use to the, uh, this interstellar logistics station. So you can see I've got rockets in there. I've got the mirrors, uh, the uh, solar panels or whatever you want to call them, the sails, I think they call them. And I've gotten the antimatter fuel rods. Okay, so now over here, you can see our artificial stars, which require antimatter fuel rods. I have got so much antimatter being built up right now. Actually, why is, is this? Is, I've got one antimatter construction machine, and uh, it's tooling away, building some antimatter for us. I've got tons of it built up. It takes forever to use, so I don't think it's going to be an issue. But I thought. That would be a great thing to have powering up our operations on the black hole planet. I don't know what kind of power output we're going to get. Probably very little because it's a black hole. I don't know functionally how it's going to work. But uh, 
So I brought a couple of artificial stars. I've got one that I keep with me all the time, but I brought three to the planet just in case it just takes a lot of power. So anyway, I've already set up the uh, I've already set up a place for us to begin the work. I've got a logistics station on the black hole planet. I've got it already set up to receive products. Now I'm going to say this. I know some of you are looking at this like, what the hell, that's so inefficient. I know. And for those of you who are like, what are you talking about? What do you mean inefficient? Seems like a decent idea, simple. Just focus everything into here rather than operations on the planet, right? Well, here's the thing. So if we want to do this long term, look what it takes to build a rocket. It takes two of the uh, Dyson Sphere components, two deuterium rods, and two quantum CPUs. Okay, now quantum CPUs stack to 200. If I'm not mistaken, quantum CPUs stack to 200. These rockets only stack to 10. So I'm essentially only stacking 40 quantum CPUs and uh, what else were the products? Uh, they were, for, for let's see, for each rocket was, okay, deuterium, uh, deuterium rods. Now, deuterium rods, okay, got it. They stacked 20. So if there's only 10 here and it takes two deuterium rods to make one rocket, then yeah, okay. Then the efficiency is one for one there. Got it. So no change. Then um, the other thing was the Dyson Sphere components. Now, how many can those stack to? I want to say it's 50. So if you got 10 of these, and each of these rockets represents two Dyson Sphere components, but by themselves they stack to 50, it's uh, just that seems to me, it seems to me that the best thing to do is to actually ship those components to the planet and construct the rocket there. Does that make sense? I think that would be the most efficient way, but that's not how we're going to start out. Anyway, I just wanted to address that before we even get started because I get it. Efficiency, blah blah blah, and all of that. Uh, I want to get there, and it's certainly going to take a lot of components and whatnot to get things going, but just, or to uh, keep things going, but let's just get started with what we have, shall we? So, Without further ado, let's see, have I got, I've got warp cores, I've got antimatter fuel rods, which again, got those in here as well to power our black hole sun, um, solar power. So yeah, I, I can't think of what else we might need. Got a whole bunch of belts. I, I, I think we're good. I, I've got a whole bunch of stuff waiting for us on the planet. So let's go ahead and GTFO, shall we? So. Let's uh, get some altitude going on, and let's find our black hole planet. Um, where is it? All right, let's follow the little... Let me just take... Oh, there we are. There we are. It's right there. There we are. Okay. So let's build up some speed, and let's warp on there, shall we? Um, let's see. There we go. So yeah, this is pretty cool, I think. this I'm loving this game. But again, it's just been, things have just been so busy, I haven't been able to really play it properly, and I am gonna start another game uh, shortly. There we go, let's do this. All right, yeah, we'll start another game and plan it out a whole lot better than this time. I mean, now I know a lot, okay? I know a, a lot of stuff that I didn't know before about how this game works, and I think uh, I think I could set up for for a decent game. Okay, auto save. The oh my gosh! So those of you who play this game, have you noticed the freaking size of your saves of your save files? Holy crap! The save file for this thing is over 120 megabytes. That is absolutely freaking amazing madness. I tell you. But, uh, so yeah, every, I mean, I've probably got a gigabyte worth of just save files on this thing. It's, it's crazy. So, all right, we're closing in. And I'll show you what we got going on. Again, it's going to be interesting to see how this works. I don't know that we'll really get much in the way of energy out of it. Q, 
can't couldn't tell you. And has anybody had any issues with the game crashing? And it's actually not the game that I'm having issues with. I'm not having issues with the game itself crashing. Okay, we want to go here. And... Okay, bam. There we go. I'm getting better at this whole warp thing. Um... But yeah, it's, uh, it's not that the game is actually crashing, the graphics are crashing. To where the, everything will just freeze up, but I can hear the game running in the background. It's kind of nuts. So if anybody else has had that, I'd love to know. Um, okay, where's our setup? Okay, I think it might be... I think I'm going the wrong way. I th oh yeah, definitely going the wrong way, it's this way. Okay. All right, so here we are. As you can see, I've got this thing all set up to receive rockets, antimatter, sails, and I can't think of anything else. But again, I think later on we'll start constructing rockets here on the base. But let us go ahead and start dropping down. Okay, we've got one sun here, plenty of power to play with. Let's go ahead and set out the rockets. Now how we, how we do this, let's see, let's empty as many of these yellow belts. I don't even know why I have those. Let's get rid of the yellow belts. Too many of them. Let's get rid of all the coal. All these thingies here. I don't need those. And the diamonds. I just, oh man, you know, no matter how big your inventory gets, it ends up full of crap. Eh, all right. I, I, why do I have miniature particle colliders? I don't need those. I don't know. Oil refineries. I don't need those. Good lord. Bunch of garbage. Okay. <clears throat> anyway. Wishful thinking on my part that I would go to all these planets and just set up massive resource collection setups. I, I had not done that. All right. Um, let's see. Let's. I've got six launch pads. For now, that will do us, I think. So, let's go ahead and don't need to build them too far away from each other, I don't think. I think we can just build them fairly close by one another. Yeah, make some equal spacing, I think. Yeah, not really equal, but whatever. Close enough. So let's get our rockets... Get our uh, supply of rockets connected. Is this going to get them the power they need. I'm telling you, you know, this is... When I play this game, I'm, I'm still in the Factorio mode. I think like Factorio. Oh, by the way, there have been some upgrades or updates to this game. Have you seen the upgrade planner? Holy crap, man. These guys are going to town. They're listening to their people, just like the Factorio devs. They are listening to the gaming community. And God bless them for it. They really, seriously, this this game, that's one of the things that makes Factorio great is that the devs listen to their gamers, the devs listen to the people who play their game, and they uh, they respond and they make changes as needed to help the playability. And the devs, very small dev team, Chinese dev team of. Uh, Dyson Sphere program are doing the same thing, so we can forgive a lot of the <coughs> fact that English isn't the first language. I mean, of course we can. I mean, English isn't the only language in the world, so we should always forgive that, but um, the fact that the regional uh, settings, the fact that it doesn't translate well to English, we can forgive that because these guys are just making a first-rate game. Okay, so here come the rockets. Now, first thing it's going to tell us is, hey, you didn't set up your Dyson Sphere. You didn't tell us what you want to build. So I'm going to send rockets to all of these, evenly distributed among the among the, uh, the launch pads. Let's go ahead and set up these. Oh, right, right, right. Now we got to give power to these things, too. So, I guess I could have set all this up 
but there might be some of you out there who've never actually <coughs> played, who've never actually built a Dyson Sphere. I know there must be. Um, let's see. Let me go ahead. So, you know, me being able to go through this should also act as a little bit of a guide on how a Dyson Sphere is built. So, hopefully this helps. Hopefully all this information helps. So here, what we're doing, the way this works is, we first use these rockets and launch pads to set up the frame. Okay, a Dyson Sphere is made of a bunch of nodes, frames, and sails. <coughs> the nodes and the frames can be set up with the rockets, and then the sails are set up with the, uh, with the rail guns. Let's start with how we want to edit the sphere. <laughs> Okay, so let's look at layer one. Okay, so we can do this a couple of ways. We can <coughs> set this up like a kind of like a soccer ball or Epcot Center if you're familiar with it. But I did that last time. I'd kind of like to do something like this. This, or we could turn it off and do, and uh, and free ball it. We could totally do that. And I don't know how well this is going to work. Okay, how far can I make it? Oh, that's that's a, that's pretty big, though. I don't know if I want to do that. And then that's uh, oh, this letter is going to have to be huge. I don't know if I like that. You know what? I was going to try to put JM73, but I'm kind of thinking that's just a waste of time right now. Maybe I would do that if I were streaming. But since we're you know we're we're recording this, we're kind of on the clock. <sighs> Let's do something a little bit different, shall we? So we have to plan this out. I, I want to set a grid like this. All right. Um, let's see. I know this This makes it so easy just to do this. And I don't know that I'm like super keen on it. Um, okay, well, we, we could do this. Let's do a series of bands. Let's start with one, you know, just to kind of get things going. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create an equatorial band all the way around this bad boy. Okay, kind of like a halo, if you will, like a Dyson halo. I think that would be good. And we're just going to circumnavigate this. And then what we'll do is we'll do the same thing below the equator. I hope you know what I mean when I say equator, okay? I'm basically the belt around the uh, zero latitude line that is this black hole. Apparently it does have a latitude line and we're just going to roll with it and make this band. Okay, so that, let's see, turn off the grid. Okay, so that's what we have left right now. Oops, we missed one, okay. Helps to turn off the grid, okay. There we go. That node to that node. Good. Okay, now we're going to uncheck, run the game. And what we should actually start to see is we might... There we go, right there. We might start to see our rockets coming toward us already starting to get things done. All right, so they're gonna. our rockets are already on their way. And if we get out of this, escape, escape out of that... We're going to see our rockets are already launching. Oh, yeah. How beautiful is that? Ha <laughs> ha. Beautiful. All right. So we have rockets that are headed out to start building a Dyson Sphere around the freaking black hole. Look at them. You can see them in flight. That's, that's great. Okay. So let's go back to the editor for a second. All right. So, yeah, you can see, if you get up real close, you can see that all these nodes, they're showing up. Up, oh, see, there's one, finally built. And the rockets are actually, like, reversing into the node and constructing. All right? They reverse into the node, and then the construction begins from there. So that's pretty cool, but we still have some more steps. Right now, we're just building this ring. We'll make it bigger later, but we just want to get things started. Uh, so next thing, what we're, next thing we need to do is uh, let's see, show the layers. 
There we go. And let's go to the, uh, sh the shell plan here. And we need to actually tell... We're going to fill these all in. And we need to tell... The, uh, basically the Dyson Sphere construction crew exactly what we want and can we go around it now we have to actually do it from the front side which is fine so we're basically building a giant halo around the black hole and again we'll, we'll make it bigger we'll make it bigger but okay so even what's built which is how many nodes looks like three nodes is generating not quite a megawatt so it's it's not huge Hmm. The star, okay, look right there. Star illumination is 0.172. So it's like not even a fifth of what the Dyson Sphere is <clears throat> at our home planet. And our home planet generates 10 gigawatts for this Dyson Sphere. So uh, multiplying it by that, we're only going to get, what is that, 1.72 gigawatts if we were to uh, build an entire sphere. Okay, so the short the uh, short answer there is we can't expect miracles as far as power production around a black hole. Got it. Okay, so now now that we've got the black hole going, you can see all the rockets are actually heading out there. Wow, there's a bunch of them. They're heading out there, getting work done. <sighs> now let's think about the rail guns. All right. Now these, we've got a lot of rockets on hand. In fact, we've got a bunch of them here. Eh, only seven. Uh, let's go ahead and grab all the rail guns. So if I hit the control, I can grab all them. And what are we using for power now that we've got these things? Not not a ton. The one, the one artificial sun seems to be working pretty well. Uh, we've got two more here as well, if need be. Two. I thought we had three. <clears throat> oh, duh. We've got one already burning. We have two more, so we can have a total of three. Got it. So the next thing we want to do, let's set up some rail guns. And I think let's set up... Let's see, where are we on the planet? Where are we on the equatorial... As far as the location of the equator, this is the equator. Ah, okay. So we'll have to remove some of these uh, some of these French ticklers, I think, but uh, that's fine. We'll just relocate them. Um, so let's go this direction, and let's set up a couple of guns. All right. Um, I don't think it matters which way we point them, really. Can we... Okay, let's see. What does it say? It said something about no tall buildings. No, no tall buildings in the muzzle rotation area. Okay. How, f how far does that entail? Oh, we can. Okay, we can still get close. So really, it's not the, uh, it's not the rocket launchers. It's the, uh, it's the solar tower or it's the wind towers. Okay, so let's just make these as close together as we can make them. So yeah, as uh, as you may or may not know, at this point, the game, so ever since I started recording, has crashed twice, or at least the graphics have. So I'm not quite sure what is going on. I wish I knew. I don't know if this is a game issue. I don't know if it's my hardware conf conflicting with whatever it is the game wants. Don't know. Um be interested to find out one of these days. Alright, we are just going to add a whole bunch of guns and then we'll set up an orbit to shoot the sails at. Because in order to build the Dyson Sphere, the rockets will construct all the frames and everything, okay? It will allow us to, uh, to construct the frames and the nodes, the places where the rockets dock. But as far as... Uh, it says 52. Why do I not think that's accurate? 51. Wow, I got a bunch of rail guns. Holy cow. Um, but uh, in order to fill in all the frames, you have to shoot sails up there, and th that's what the rail guns are for. 
So we're going to set them around the planet, I think, as far as far around as we can. Okay, now got them set up. So let us now run the belt that's going to supply them all. Oops. Thought I set the filter. I guess I didn't. Okay. So there we go. There's all the solar sails. Now we have to... Um, you know what? Uh, I goofed up. Now we actually have to set an orbit for all of these. We actually have to give these guys an orbit to shoot at. And I just placed a whole butt ton of them. Um, when what I could have done is the, I could have used the copy and paste command to, uh, to do that. So let's go ahead and I'll show you at least how this works. So we're going to, let's see, let's edit the orbit. Um, let's see, show all orbits, one. Okay, that orbit is going to be the default orbit, I guess. So let's go ahead and let's add one and we can adjust the radius and I guess we could bring it out some maybe how far out can we bring it we can bring it out quite a ways but I don't know what ex where exactly on the on the orbit our gun shoots at and then we could change the inclination if we like we could put it like that and let's create that so that's orbit 2 and Let's see, orbit two, orbit one, if I take that away, where is orbit one? Can I edit the orbit? I guess, I guess it's just there. And that's it right there, right? Maybe, okay, yep, if I turn it off and on, there it is. Okay, got it. So, all right, so let's get out of here. Let's show all the orbits again. Orbit one, orbit two. show all orbits there we go and so that one's set and then I could actually go back and forth let's see this is I didn't choose one this one has orbit one this one has orbit two okay now see it's already say pitch limit okay it doesn't have sail so if we give it a sail come on I, I told you where to shoot this is one this is two okay can you hit your target Boom. There you go. Doesn't make any noise, though. I'm a little bit surprised. Does not make any noise. Oh, okay, look at that. Can you see it? Let's go to... Is it the V key? That, oh, I can see the rockets taking off. That's insane. All right, can we go to our star? Bring it out some. You can already see nodes are under construction so yes we are slowly beginning our embrace of the suck beautiful so okay so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to go to all these guns i'm going to run the belt and i'm going to get them firing and when we come back uh, i should hopefully have that done for you okay so we've done it we've got all the rockets firing and we've got all the guns if we step back and take a look at the planet, we've got all the guns orbiting the planet, firing and putting the sails around the black hole. So let's take a look at this. Now, right now it says we've got uh, 1,200 sails around the black hole right now. Now, what's happening is how this works. We just give the uh, we give the sails an orbit to aim for we give the guns an orbit to aim for but what happens is the nodes as part of the Dyson sphere reach out and they call for the sails and the sails are captured and they are commandeered to come in and start construction of the sphere and as you can see it's already started the the uh, webbing the 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 panels are already under construction and that is very cool and we're generating 25 megawatts all right good deal so our halo is well underway and our dyson sphere is well underway so we've got a good process going we are totally going to do it we are embracing the suck so let's uh escape there come back to our little jaeger and let's take a look at what else we can do here um, we've got 
So while our guns are shooting, now some of them are idle right now because of course the orbit of the planet, I suppose we could go to the poles and put them there, but I just did it this way just for now, just to get a band set up. And it seems as though that the demand for sales is uh, is um, being met by the uh, is being met by the planetary planetary uh, logistics station here. So it seems like a lot of guns, but you know they only have a limited time to fire while the orbit or the uh, planet rotates and then orbits the star, orbits the black hole. Uh, but what else we could do later, and not today, but I think we've, I brought plenty of uh, ray receivers here, and with these, we're going to be able to harness at least some of this power of the Dyson Sphere if we want to do that. But until we decide to do that, the artificial stars will provide us that power. So there we go. So I think this is a good place to call it. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. And we're going to continue this, probably another episode or two. And uh, by the end of this, we're going to, we're going to have our sphere around this, uh, around this black hole. At least a halo, I think. I mean, I don't know. I'd really like to put a whole sphere around it. But more than anything, I just wanted to see that it was possible and demonstrate it here, that it was indeed possible. And I think we're doing that. I think we've got... Uh, construction going on and that is that is freaking hot um only thing though is if the rockets can't keep up with the sails then uh the sails will stay in orbit and decay and then we'll actually lose them because they can only stay in orbit for so long and we don't want them to be in orbit forever they won't be they can't be in orbit forever as soon as they go into orbit we want to have a node ready for them to uh to receive a node ready for them to be received by if that makes sense but all right well anyway i think that's going to conclude it for now and just uh you know if you like what you oh, oh 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 okay 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 got it we are barely making ends meet here so let's go ahead and let's supply fuel to this uh to this secondary star here how about that there we go. So we got another secondary uh, artificial star. And now the power output, or the, the uh, now the power should be good, I think. We got a lot of guns. We're needing 300 megawatts, but, <coughs> excuse me, we're supplying it. <coughs> so good. All right. Well, again, guys, if you like what you're seeing, uh, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, it sure helps me out, lets me know that uh, you're actually enjoying this. I think this is an interesting concept, I can't wait to see how it pans out. And I sure hope you're having as much fun as I am embracing this black hole in a Dyson Sphere. So, anyway, you all have a wonderful day, and I will see you in the next one. Ciao.